Lord of Wisdom, Source of Intelligence. We welcome you to this auspicious gathering. An August moment for the pursuit of knowledge. That is offered for the glory of your name. We do not wish to ask you more than just you joining us today. But we look forward to your heavenly grace. To amplify the desire for truth. To look up for and become prudent to learning. Keep us grounded in your love and mercy, as we traverse a challenging path to keeping the inclination of understanding. You and your most awe-inspiring creation, be with us, O Lord, and descend your spirit on us, to maintain an earnest desire, the knowledge, truth, and understanding you, the guide of the wise, the stronghold of the learned. This we ask through Christ, our Lord. Amen. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Maayong hapon sa inyong tanan. Maayong palis, by the way. From a Bolanon dialect, maayong palis. Magandang hapon sa inyong lahat. And it's another learning episode for us this afternoon. And we are honored to have an, another resource speaker. Uh, this is the research webinar series. And I, my name is Franz and I'll be your moderator this afternoon. And to officially this, uh, start this afternoon session, let's hear the opening, opening remarks or welcome message from the Dean of the College of the Business and Management Department of Crystal E. College, Ms. Joby G. Martin. It gives me great pleasure to extend to you all a very warm welcome on behalf of the Business Administration and Hospitality Management Department of Crystal College. It is gratifying to note that we are able to provide you an activity like this, which covers a series of uh, research webinars initiated and organized by um, Sir Franz Byron Guillen. I cannot thank you enough, sir, for your initiative and for everything that you are doing for the department in helping our students. Thank you. And I wish to um, take this opportunity to welcome all the participants who will be joining um, in this webinar series starting today and for the next coming days. It will surely be filled with um, useful information about different topics, like the topic that we will be discussed uh, today, the hospitality industry in the face of COVID-19, topics and research methods, which is very timely in the situation that we are facing right now. And another would be on developing and adapting research methodology in the new normal. We are in the new normal right now. So there will be more um, research topics and research um, agendas that you can make with, with our situation. And there's more to come in the next coming days. So... Um, this is very timely, especially that we have students who are taking um, research courses in the semester. Surely, this webinar series and from the knowledge and expertise that our invited guest speakers will share us, it would surely widen our knowledge in, crafty, in crafting and in completing your research projects. Doing research, of course, is really challenging. Um, but I think that uh, no matter how challenging it is, if we are, we all have the attitude to persevere and with, of course, with application of what your teacher taught you and the knowledge and the information you will learn from this uh, webinar series, I highly believe that you can all do it. Um, we care. You carry with you 
the best wishes from the entire department um, to have a productive and a successful webinar series. A pleasant day, everyone. Good day and welcome. Thank you so much, Ma'am Jovi Martin, for that encouraging welcome message. She's right, actually. Ma'am Jovi is right that doing research is really challenging and the right attitude for you to be able to accomplish this challenging, this challenging um, uh, task that you have as a student. This time, it is my honor to present to you both and privilege and honor to present to you our resource speaker. He is a graduate of Bachelor of Science in Tourism Management and Bachelor of Science in Hotel and Restaurant Management at Leyte Normal University. He finished his Master's in Management at St. Francis of Assisi College System last 2010. And took his doctorate degree in management at the Philippine Women's University. And she com he completed his post-baccalaureate studies at the Gig City last 2017. He was able to publish books, and I would like to share this uh, to our virtual audience, that our resource speaker was able to publish Thank you so much. I'm very sorry we have just encountered a technical problem. Uh, to continue with my uh, presentation of the background of our resource speaker, I mentioned a while ago that the speaker was able to publish books, and one of them is entitled A Guide to Thesis Writing, and the other one is Food Chemistry with Basic Nutrition, a Manual for Principles and Prep. Uh, they were published by the publishing company named Unlimited Books Library Services, Services and Publishing Incorporated. Previously, our resource speaker was the assistant department head of the HRM department of the Philippine Merchant Marine School from the year 2007 to the year 2000, 2010. He was the program head of the School of Hospitality and Tourism Management at Arellano University from April 2010 to 2011. And he became the manager at Hustle Free Philippines. It's a travel and event management from January 2011 to April 2013. And he became the Dean of the College of Tourism and Hospitality Management at Lyceum Alabang from the year 2011 to the year 2015. And became the Director for Academic Learning and Operations of Manila International Integrated Learning Center from the year 2015 to the year 2017. 17, sorry. At present, he is an ARQUAT member of the Commission on Higher Education and the Dean of the College of Hospitality and Tourism Management of Taguig City University. He is a certified events planner, a certified hotel administrator, and a certified hotel supervisor. Ladies and gentlemen, help me welcome, and let's give a virtual round of applause to Dean Rumar R. Abaygar. 
Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Franz. And uh, maayong hapon, beautiful people of Crystal E. College, yung lahat ng mga taga-Bulanon. Uh, maayong hapon sa inyong tanan. I am very happy and privileged to be one of your resource speaker on your first research webinar series. Before anything else, to the president of this college, Dr. Will Tyron uh, Tirol, Vice President for Academic Sir Josil Tirol, the OIC Head of the Business and Hospitality Management uh, the Department, uh, Ma'am Jovi Martin, and of course to my former younger brother in the same university where we graduate from Lady Normal University, uh, Dr. Franz Byron G1. Uh, students, a pleasant afternoon again to each and every one of us. Okay, so my first question to everyone: Sino ang malakas ng loob sa bihin sa professor niyo ngayon? Na ang favorite subject ko ay research. Sige nga, anybody from these beautiful students of Crystal E College? Kung meron kayong kung may sasabihin kayo sa professor niyo, i-PM niyo lang si Dr. Franz. Okay? Na ang subject, ang favorite subject niyo ay research. Actually, I do not know. So, aside from mathematics, sasabihin nga kaya ako nag-HRM or tourism kasi ayoko ng math. Okay? But here it comes another subject na pahirap before gra go graduate tayo. Tama po ba mga third year and mga fourth year? Ano po ba ang research ninyo dito? Is it feasibility, case study, or baby thesis? Okay. Um, just to share with you an experience, okay. Uh, during my college time, we used to have our case study uh, research. Okay. Uh, we don't have the baby thesis, but at the same time, uh, we explore uh, different uh, destinations in the in the province where we where we came from and we are very happy na uh, we could be able to share this kind of uh how do you call this one this kind of uh research because you are not only uh you're not only helping uh, uh for you to graduate but at the same time you are helping the community itself maniwala kayo sa hindi hindi kayo nag-iisa halos ngayon ko lang napagtanto na I'm already 34 years old. I appreciate ko ang beauty ng research. At sa research, sinasabi na may pera ang research. Alam niyo ba yun, guys? City, in Taguig City, the DUST or the Department of Science and Technology he has been supportive to all researches na may invent na kahit sino man. Like food innovation, di ba? machine, etc. because of the research. They really give fundings. Up to millions of pesos, guys. Okay? Uh, you just have to ask uh, your teacher paano natin, paano yung gagawin yun. But, uh, in research, there is money. Kung baga, kung sa basura may pera, alam, sa research, marami po ang pera. Diba? And, uh, can you imagine, diba? Do you still remember that, uh, uh, the, the Senator uh, uh, Cynthia Villar has been main, mentioned about that. Ba't kayo puro kayo ng research ng research? Diba ang, ang daming mga nagalit sa kanya na mahilig mo research? Because lahat ng ginagalawan natin dito sa ating uh, sa mundo natin is based actually coming from the research ng mga tao. Okay? Then believe it or not, not the same with mathematics, we engage uh, we engage how to call this one uh, today. The moment we think what output for the day we should create is already part of the process of asking why and what and sometimes how much. So at this point, before I proceed to the main topic, let me share to you first the how to prism Okay. 
uh, there is just a technical uh, problem. Um, uh, okay. All right. So, all right. So at this point of time, uh, my topic is about developing and adopting research uh, methodology in new normal. So as what I have mentioned a while ago, before I proceed to the main topic, let me share to you uh, first how our tourism industry coping up during this pandemic. And part of the jump starting the industry, if they are conducting survey, which is actually an integral part of the research. So, so right now, we are on the stage of restarting the tourism and hospitality industry during this post-pandemic. Okay, the Philippines tourism revenue has reached a total of more or like 9.31 billion last year. And it was actually increased around about 220.81% uh, last year and have already uh, got the uh, receipts of around 7.1 billion uh, last 2018 as the Department of Tourism revealed uh, last May 2020. Aside from all the time high earnings, uh, 2019 has also witnessed several tourism milestones as the Philippines also achieved uh, the 8.2 million international arrivals for 2019 and 110 million of local trips. Can you imagine how, how beauty traveling around the Philippines during 2019 okay so uh, i i suppose that there are also business uh students who are listening right now uh do not mind that i am discussing about tourism just only for tourism and hospitality but always bear in mind that uh, tourism involves always business okay so and the tourism industry pump to 2.48 trillion or 12.7 of the country's gross domestic product no mga last part of the 29 or the December uh December 2019 so can you imagine umabot tayo ng trillion of the gross domestic product uh, identified and continued impressive performance dramatizes the dedication and hard work stakeholders through most challenging year. We count on the same enduring qualities to get us through the challenge. Foreign guests in the Philippines incurred 128 US dollars daily expenditure yan. or ang, ang maximum na in-stay ng mga Ano, mga turista dito on an average uh, level, according to the research, is actually nine days. And they are actually spending 1.2 or $1,200. So, kung, kung i-estimate mo, that is more or less uh, in Philippine money, they are already spending around uh, 1.2, 1,250, around 70,000 in a week. Or in the nine days, so can you imagine how how big uh, tourists are uh, uh, spending in the in the Philippines at the same time? The double digit growth in visitor was observed from February to December 2019, with August exhibiting the highest growth of 31.45 percent. Meanwhile, the largest volume was recorded in December at 872.3 uh, million. Can you imagine, uh, based on this date, uh, nagagather natin, ibig sabihin, there is something that 
uh, ginawang pag, uh, pag-aaral. Ibig sabihin, there is a research that has been conducted. Kaya nga, uh, I've been mentioning to you that ang research ay halos araw-araw natin ginagawa. Araw-araw. pag natin sa umaga, we always tend to ask, what is what would be the best output for the day? What would be the 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 most beneficial that would that would uh, that I would do after after this day, de ba? Parang ganon. So you will be asking why, you will be asking what, why, where, or something like that. That is already part of the integral part of the of the research, and you're already doing the research. It's not about uh. Uh, yung naggumagawa tayo ng article this one, yung assignment, tapos nag-research tayo sa, sa internet. That is part. Okay? So, yun nga, araw-araw na natin uh, ginagawa yung ano natin. Uh, 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 how do you call this one? Yung research every day. Then, based on the data from the DOT Office of the Tourism uh, Development Planning, research and information Uh, the top visitor market was actually South Korea pa rin. Posted the highest tourism spending about 2 billion uh, pesos and it's actually followed by China and the United States with uh, 1.2 uh, billion uh, US dollars expenditures. So, uh, DOT Secretary uh, Romulo Puyat cited cooperation among the government, tourism industry, and civil societies in realizing the goals of the National Tourism Development Plan for 2016 to 2022. The master plan of the country's sustainable tourism program and rounding of the 10 highest spending markets are Japan, Canada, Australia, Taiwan, United Kingdom, and uh, so on and so forth. So, given the travel restriction and closure of businesses, 88% of the businesses expect losses of, of over 50% of their 2020 revenues. And they expect their businesses to normalize within six months to over a year. So, such findings are worrying because Because the tourism industry contributed 12.7 of the country's GDP in 2019 and provided 5.71 million Filipinos in the tourism industry. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, you see the 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 implications of when. 2019 and 2020, ang laki po ng diferensya. Kaya, <coughs> right now, there is a series of researches that has been conducted all over the Philippines, all over the globe, kung paano natin i-really start, i-judge some start yung ating ekonomiya. And again, umapasok ang research. <clears throat> Nobody knows that 2020 would lead us to this kind of season. Due to COVID-19 around the world declared pandemic. Who declared pandemic? Everyone. <clears throat> Globally, the World Travel and Tourism Council estimated that it could take up to 10 months for the industry to recover. Of course, <coughs> excuse me. Of course, uh, with the online response team, the Department of Tourism was able uh, to get receive and get uh, some uh, necessary situation that's been happening all over the Philippines. So this is also part of the research that has been doing by the Department of Tourism. The online uh, response uh, response uh, team was actually uh, 
mula sa ano pagdating ng ano uh, pandemic we have we were able to have the online learning of course the online shopping the very famous diba then even online food order okay so ang daming pagbabago na uh, nagawa in just one glimpse yung ating pagkakaroon ng uh, pandemic. During ACQ last March to May 2020, and even in the, no, and even in the, on, uh, in the academics right now, I would like to share something to you. I do not know that if in Bohol, uh, you have already this kind of program wherein ang naging problema natin is yung at online OJT okay some of the uh, some of the schools really uh, have a hard time on how they would like to prolong the the semester na naiiwan sa mga estudyante natin and based on the series of researches at saka pag-aaral din and studies uh, there are other uh, companies who have developed online on-the-job trainings, okay? So, this is actually one of, for tourism, okay, the Raja Travel and Tours, okay, they created a travel academy. This is actually for the remote practicum program. So, they, can, they conducted research, uh, nagtatanong sila, paano kaya magagawa ng mga estudyante na gawin pa rin yung mga natutunan nila physically through online. Okay? And they have created these program guidelines para sa mga estudyante. And uh, uh, at this point, I have students who are who are actually being sent uh, on this program and uh, talagang very tasking lang talaga kasi para ka rin kasi nag-aaral. Okay? Although, but the features inside the, how do you call this one, the, inside the program, is actually the basic parts of what is happening in the travel agency or in the airline industry. So, ihimay-himayin ng instructor niyo doon. So, of course, I will not be mentioning how much kasi I'm not promoting this one. I'm just uh, making this one one example and uh, uh, another one also for the HRM uh, they have their the I Academy it's actually uh, they are interconnected with Mega World Hotel so same with travel Academy uh, travel uh, Raja tours they are also offering for the HM or for the HRM program uh, basically for hotel and restaurant operation so that's more on online they have actually, according to what I have attended uh, one of the webinars, that they, this the program is actually uh, more on online then, and, and uh, there will be a series of web webinars. At the same time, there will be a series of break, uh, breakout sessions, wherein there are a group of people or students who will be actually uh, monitored by a certain, uh, a certain like, uh, uh, hotel supervisor or something like that uh, for a specific uh, subject or station or department inside the hotel. So that is uh, one of their programs in the academy. Can you imagine uh, in just uh, a couple of how many months dahil sa research nila kung ano yung need ng mga sudyante, they, they were able to come up with this uh uh with this uh solution so this is now actually the the output of the research that they have so this is actually the the response of the how do you call this one the response of the of the industry to the uh academy or to the academy uh that they are resulting from <clears throat> you know uh they do not know if they will graduate or if they will if they will uh, pass the semester without having the 
without having the OJT. So there are some remedies, okay? Although we just have to be uh to be uh ano lang, to be uh to be more sensitive kung paano natin gagawin yung mga solutions at the same time. Okay? So there are 43,000 tourists estimated number of stranded tourists all over the Philippines which is actually assisted by the Department of Tourism uh since no nag uh nagkaroon tayo ng ECQ last time and of course because of the Tupad program again uh this is part again of the research that the, the Department of Labor and Employment had on paano nila tutulungan yung mga tao na nasa uh to nasa tourism program kasi there are actually there are lots of uh uh practitioners or uh staff in the hotel in the restaurant or any hospitality establishment that's actually being uh uh how do you call this one uh parang nawala sa trabaho okay but because of this support program at the same time that uh, initially uh, been uh, doing with the government, this has actually been uh, and a positive impact to those disadvantaged or displaced workers. Okay. okay. So tourism response and recovery plan, of course, continuingly, uh, ang ating Department of Tourism uh, is doing some uh, regenerating, doing some research, uh, doing some jump starting the the tourism the tourism industry little by little so right now uh at my ano in my uh in my topic okay so developing and adapting research uh methodology in the new normal so of course uh, uh, sabi nga, ang daming pagkakaiba ng uh, pagkakaiba ng ng pagkakandak ng research sa sa noon at saka sa new normal. Okay? So, because of uh, the, the engage of the internet or online, uh, lahat tayo ay uh, we need to, ano, we need to adapt uh, whether we like it or not. Uh, to tell you honestly, even in our university, our top-level management are already, ano, medyo aging na sila. Okay? And talaga, they don't have really uh, any, ano, more choice but to use gadgets. Kung noon ay puro lang sila sulat ng sulat, Okay? Tapos, papatype nila sa mga sekretary nila. Ngayon, they're doing it by their own self. They have to, uh, they have to maneuver the, the, the gadgets. Noon, ang kanilang mga cellphone, kahit mga vice president namin, yung mga ordinary cellphones, ngayon, makikita mo talagang ng mga naka-iPhone na yan. Because, uh, they have to buy it and at the same time they have to to learn what everything is ano what everything is being uh commanded by by such gadget and they even um uh, matter already to buy, buy tablets because of so many webinars of so many zoom meetings especially for the aging who are actually working from home talagang uh, ano sila they have to adapt the the new normal same with the research methodology, we have also to adapt uh, 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 the new normal. Magtatanong tayo, ano ba yung mga challenges ng mga sudyante? Okay? Actually, in general, masasabi natin, ay, research, wala yan. Okay? Hindi yan, ano, hindi yan importante. Talagang, it's a boring subject. I do not know kung Si Dr. Franz boring mag mag teach ng ng research, pero with all of the experiences uh, of Dr. Franz, I'm sure it 
it would be a, a very you know a very uh, a very lively discussion uh, when it comes to research kasi actually sa to lang lalo ngayon anong oras is 3 o'clock in the afternoon talagang boring talaga ngayon dahil lalo na kung research ang subject mo at ganitong oras talagang mapapa ano ka mapapa aantokin ka okay and uh doing research is actually really much fun okay i would like to share you something uh, before i proceed to my ano to my slide sa ano sa school sa university namin uh we adopted the uh, baby thesis okay i i nakausap ko si Dr. Frank kanina na same with you you have your chapter 1 to 5 but when we talk about HRM or HM we are more on food innovation okay we are actually ano uh uh, uh, uh kung hindi kami nag-innovate nagano kami uh, we are trying to im- nag-improve kami ng pagkain i don't know if you're familiar if you have been to Taguig City, we have this kind of uh, kakanin that is actually called inutak. And uh, uh, it doesn't mean to say that inutak is brain. It's actually a, a terminology that has been already uh, 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 generated by the old uh, the old history of uh, uh, Taguig. And uh, this inutak is actually uh, very famous in Taguig and uh, ang ginawa ng mga sadyante namin dito sa Taguig City dahil of course kung nandito ka and uh, our school is a public university yung inutak um, ginawa nila ng, ano, ng innovations or uh, ito, ng improvement nilagyan nila ng ice cream okay may inutak may yung inutak na kakanin ginawa nilang cookies di ba? and they have even introduced that one to the DOST kasi meron tayong mga ano doon, mga tinatawag na mga R&D okay, yung mga yung sa mga research and dietitian something like that pinapasa namin lahat yun basta pag ano so far sa lahat ng mga innovations namin, nare-recognize naman ng Department of Science and Technology kasi ang DOST, ang main ng DOST, malapit lang po sa amin, nasa tagig kasi yung DOST na National Office. Kaya uh, time to time, we can be able to ano to to, to participate whatever uh, research agenda na meron ng DOST. So, yun. Pagdating naman sa tourism, dahil may yaman din po ang, didn't you know that ang Taguig City sa, um, uh, sorry to, sa more or less uh, 20 cities uh, around Metro Manila, ang Taguig lang po ang merong rice field. Kami lang po ang merong, uh, merong pa kami in sakahan. Okay? pinipreserve po ng city government ng Tagigyan kasi gusto namin tawagin ang aming lungsod o yung aming city ng probinsyo na. na kahit ang BGC nasa amin, yung tinatawag na Bonifa, uh, uh, Bonifacio uh, Global uh, uh, City, yung BGC nasa amin, may makikita ka pa rin sa kahan. Can you imagine that? Kaya tinatawag siyang probinsyudad, ang Taguig City. So, <coughs> we also have, ano, uh, doing it, uh, yung Belon Festival namin. Actually, it's one of the research na ginawa ng mga sudyante ko sa tourism is to develop the Melon Festival in, ano, in Taguig City. So, actually, there is an existing Melon Festival na but it was actually uh, being promoted through the research of our students. So, uh, ang dami, ang dami pwedeng gawin, even in the business side, okay? You want to develop something to innovate uh, business na merong, ano, na merong ka- kaiba, di ba? 
meron ka bang ano you want to to put up a coffee shop conduct feasibility study di ba anong klaseng coffee ang uh, coffee shop ang gusto mo sa dami ng coffee shop na meron sa buong Pilipinas di ba uh, dito sa amin uh, ano ba yung ano what was the what was the ano uh, meron din yung ano meron din ginawa ang aming estudyante na yung gumabela yung gumabela ginawa nilang tinapay can you imagine ang dami mga researches na minsan you know what when when the students are presenting to me talagang natatakot yan sila dahil minsan pag nagko-commento ako medyo out of this word ng mga wordings ko sa kanila kaya sabi ko ano na lang ang um, ano na lang kaya ang pagkain na kaya niyong gawin na hindi na gagawa ng mga panaderya. Sabi kong gano'n. Nagkatawanan sila. Kasi kahit ano, you know what? Ang daming pwedeng i-research. Sobra. It's only na nasa, ano lang yan, nasa perseverance lang ng mga sudyante kung paano nila talaga uh, gagawin yung research. But uh, going back to the student challenges with doing research, meron tayong natawag na lack of confidence. Ano ba yung sinasabi na lack of confidence? Nakikita mo pa lang ang format, my God, from chapter 1 to 5, chapter 1 pa lang ang daming gagawin. Di ba? Andiyan ang ano, uh, review related literature, nandiyan yung gato ganyan, di ko maintindihan, kailangan ng recency before, gato ganyan, it should be 5 years, hanapin na halugugin, Diba? Parang dun pa lang, chapter 2, gagawin mo pa lang yung ganito, di ba? Talagang maano na, ma, ma, parang nakaka-discourage na gawin yung research. Pero mind you guys, uh, later on you will realize talaga kung how beauty uh, research is. Okay? Then number 2, lack of time. Usually, at the tertiary level, ang ang research kasi, dahil syempre, madaming sudyante yan eh, sa buong section. Hindi kayang mag-isa-isa individual research. So, ano nangyayari? Nagkakaroon tayo ng group research. So, ang iba, sasabihin, uh, sorry, I cannot, ano, I cannot attend kasi ito ganyan. Gagayahin nila yung mga grupo kasi ayaw din nilang Uh, ano kasi yung isa pinayagan ng leader na ano ako rin hindi rin ako attend sa mga gitawan niya so nagkakaroon tayo ng lack of time yung lack of time yung resulting nagkakaroon ng challenges yung paper natin kasi hindi nagiging ano nagiging uh, 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 yung nagiging yung substance ng research paper dahil isa lang gumagawa nahihirapan okay I know some of you can, ano, uh, can experience already. Uh, uh, especially yung mga fourth year na natin na nakikinig ngayon. Then, limited knowledge and skills. Kasabihin, uh, uh, sorry to, we are not fun of reading kasi eh. Kaya, ayaw ko ni limited knowledge. Bari na si leader yan. Kasi kayang-kaya na niya yan. Diba? Parang yun na lang ang gagawa na ano, di ba? Pero you know what? Uh, uh, at the end of the day, uh, ito, doing the research could actually uh, make your mind uh, ano, ang dami mong matutunan kasi you are not only studying in one, hindi lang kayo nakafocus dun sa ano eh, sa title nyo eh. You have to, ano, you have to browse Uh, other researchers, articles, journals, etc. Diba? So, yun yung ano natin doon. Then, another one, of course, the lack of research enthusiasm. Siyempre, yung iba, magbasa lang ng dalawang minuto, pagod na. Diba? May isulat lang, o oh, sige, ikaw yung chapter 2, ako yung chapter 3. Ayoko lang chapter 3 kasi ganito ganyan, mahirap, hindi ako marunong ganyan. Diba? If you are just listening to your teacher, if you just know the the 
procedure, lahat naman hindi mahirap eh. Okay? Hindi mahirap kung nag-aaral and you have the enthusiasm of uh, doing the research. Another one, collaboration challenges with other available researches. Okay? Meron, res meron kang research na iba yung objective mo pero same din ang title mo or ginagawa mong research pero iba yung objective ng isa. Di ba? Hindi tayo, minsan nawawala yung uh, ito, hindi tayo nakakapag-collab kasi kaya nag-resulting may mga researches na nagkakaparehas. Di ba? So you have also to take uh, into consideration na there are other titles or there are other researchers that you have also the same aspect na uh, ginagawa. Then, another one is one-man team. Diba? One-man team, si leader na lang parati ang gumagawa. Diba? Parang, talino naman yan. Magko-contribute na lang ako. Diba? Magko-contribute na lang ako. Yung iba siguro ngayon, ano yan, tumatawa kasi they experience the same thing. Kaya pagdating sa number seven, during the present there's a challenge kasi lahat kayo mag-represent di ba? hindi si leader lang eh si leader lang ang gumawa pati kayo o oh, pag tinanong kayo ng panel ninyo o oh, sige what is the study all about? ni, ni title nga hindi mo nga memorize eh di ba? so these are basically uh, these are basically things na you know, uh, na dapat iniisip natin pero sobrang napakahalaga pa nila. Okay? When doing the research. <clears throat> All segments globally including education has been shattered by the impacts of COVID-19 pandemic. As we approach the normal uh, in the post-COVID-19, uh, there is a need to think through research anew in the light of emerging opportunities and challenges. Actually, uh, during this time, ang daming pwedeng gawing research. Yung iba nga nagkakapare-parehas na dahil sa dami. Okay? Ang dami. Sobra. Kasi we have a lot of Pag sinabi mong hospitality, ang dami. Tourism, ang dami. Even psychologically, you can create research. Business, dahil ang dami na longing business. <coughs> diba? What else? Uh, security. Okay? How do you secure your business? Okay? Uh, how do you cope up with those business uh, during the this crisis? something like that. Ang dami. Ang daming aspeto. Even in the even in the uh, medicine, sobrang dami niyo pwedeng pagkakal. Okay. <laughs> Pasensya na. Ah, uh, Nangangati yung ano ko, alam mo na pagmahaba na lang nag-talk. <coughs> okay, uh, continuing with the slide, how to develop and adapt to new normal research methodology. So, dito na tayo, number one. Reinvent on how to collect data. Of course, sa ngayon, mahirapan talaga tayo mag-collect ng data. Why? Because we cannot go to, ano, we cannot go to some area. Yes. Kasi, di ba, pandemic, there are some restrictions. Social distancing, uh, we have to wear masks. You have get... There are some many protocols for you to have before you collect data. Yung mag-collect ka nga lang, for example, if you need some data from the city hall, hindi ka agad-agad makakapasok doon. Why? Because there are some protocols. Okay? Eh, paano kung ang iyong research ay about, like, for example, nasa man nila ka pero bohol ang topic mo. Or you want to go there, you have to invest, ano, magpapaswag ka and everything. 
So ngayon, reinvent on how to collect data, we have to what? We have to apply the online. Diba? Mamaya pa, pakita ko sa inyo paano yun. Number two is be creative and novel approaches to respond to its challenges. Ang sabi dito, creative in such a way about the title and the matter. Creative, ibig sabihin, uh, hindi dahil this is a pandemic, lahat na lang ng aspeto ng title natin is all about pandemic. Di ba? Nagkakaroon na ng parang uh, redundancy of the terminologies, di ba? Parang minsan, pag na, post-pandemic na naman, nakakasawa na yung mga ganyan. Di ba? Why, why, you, ano, why you develop title which is actually still related with the post-pandemic but not by using post-pandemic. Di ba? You should have to be creative. Then, make sure na hindi lang magbe-benefit yung research ninyo para sa pansarili ninyo. Make it sure that the research is benefit yung mas nakakadami. Why? Because para mas malaki yung value. Value in a sense na is not only for your own good but also for the good of everyone. Kasi That's an naman eh. Uh, maybe uh, after all that you have uh, conducted, after all that you have conducted the research, de ba? Yun ang sinasabi ko sa inyo. That's how you value the the scope or yung ano yung yung laki at lawak ng pag-aaralan nyo. Hindi yun makailangan mag-research ng ang buong Pilipinas, di ba? I mean, even in such community, di ba? Community, city, depende na kung anong klaseng uh, need ng isang, ano, ng isang or whatever, ng isang research. Okay? Number three is trans experience into current practices. It means to say that your research is up to date with the current you have to be sensitive like now pandemic diba hindi pwedeng namimili tayo ng sagutan yung ganito eh ayaw ng tao humawak ng bolt pin para sagutan diba kasi marami tayong mga uh, problema diba kulit, kulit ka ng kulit sa facebook Pakisagutan naman ito, ito ganyan yung grabe. Kung baga, nabenta nyo na yung, ano, yung bahay ninyo, nag-aaway na kayo. Dahil, dahil hindi lang siya sumasagot ng, ano, ng ninyo. You have also to be, ano, uh, to be sensitive enough. So, kung ano yung nasa, kung ano yung norm natin sa ngayon, natin ngayon, uh, environment. A new data collection process in research for the new normal, we have, of course, the online survey forms. So this is an online document form, website forms, etc. It Actually, right now, this is already very famous. Yung tinatawag natin na Google Forms. Lahat, when you, when you are not, oh, when, when you conduct survey, okay, use this ano, link. Ano ka lang, type ka lang doon. Sige, nandun na lahat. Okay, this type from a numerical 1 to 5, 5 is the highest, dito ganyan. So, you have to ano lang, yun lang. Kahit nasa telepono ka lang, cellphone, you can easily actually, ano, uh, uh, to ito, response to the, ano, to the online survey form. Even yung katulad nito, mga online platforms like uh, Zoom meetings, for you to, your, ano, your certificate, you just have to fill in the, ano, the, How do you call this one? The uh, and you'll be able to get the certificate right after the no, right after the uh, right after the program or, or the event, diba? Then another one is 
a new data collection process, virtual interview. Diba? Actually, ginawa ko na to. Uh, one of my, you know, one of my, tawag nito, one of my subject in doctorate, uh, which was, ano, yung last subject ko, uh, last May, I was able to interview my, uh, the DOT director of the Department of Tourism in Region 8. So my topic was actually about uh, re- jump-starting the tourism industry in that I interviewed her. So can you imagine, noon, although alam natin na may video conferencing, but right now, my God, uh, napapalakit tayo sa mga taong malayo. Katulad ako, I'm, I'm here in Tagig, you are there in Bohol, and napapaglapit tayo lahat. So this is actually one way of collection or collecting processes through virtual interview. Of course, very simple. Uh, nagawa natin yan, mobile and telephone call. Uh, okay. So right now, noon, kung nakakapag-interview tayo ng personal, ngayon, part pa rin siya niyang new data collection kasi, uh, tawag ito, na napipilitan tayong gumamit ng mobile and telephone. So, kaya that's part still ng data collection. Email data collection, same also. So, ngayon, we have so many Gmail, in, uh, any other forms of uh, email data collection. And the last one is the cloud data collection. This is also part of I. Uh, you want to register, you have to have an iCloud account and uh, usually it saves all the documents that you need. Okay? If you want to uh, know, if you uh, to travel around something, di ba? Anytime, basta may net ka, pwede mong access yung cloud data mo because uh, you have collected some data out from the, ano, from, from the internet na mga kailangan din. Yun. So, before I end this, ano, this uh, research uh, webinar, let me just a small lang na, ano, from Charles uh, Kennedy, uh, research means that you don't know. Ibig sabihin, uh, ito yung mga gusto mong malaman, pero gusto mong Ito yung mga gusto mong ay yung mga hindi mo alam pero willing mong ma-find out. Willing mong ma, ma ano, willing mong ma uh, malaman yung totoo. It's just uh, ano lang sa mga lalaki, di ba? Courting a girl. Okay? Naniligaw ka sa babae. So, of course, you want to find out what are those things na anong gusto ng girl, di ba? Anong, ano kaya, paano ko kaya ito mapapasagot or something like that, di ba? Yung, guys ha, yung paniligaw is also part of research, di ba? Ah, sabi ko nga sa inyo, di ba kanina, on the very first start lang, every day we engage research. <coughs> Even sa pamimili, di ba? Sa pamimili, you want to buy t-shirt, Because you want to find out, di ba, that yung magiging output mo na magiging you want to find out kung ano yung mga likes at dislikes ng girl. And, and that is that you're going to make a research. A research from her best friend, a research coming from the family background itself, di ba? sa mga kapitbahay, sa mga classmates nila, you're already doing the research. Diba? So, this is basically the things that uh, you need to, ano, uh, to generate with your, in your mind. Okay? That research is really 
a uh, ito, is very important especially for the academy okay and uh as what uh, dr francianina sinabi na i have actually a book about on thesis and dissertation actually it's not only for this is not only for ano ha uh for the graduate school this is actually open to uh even tertiary okay you can actually ano dyan, nakalagay unlimited books uh this is not ano this is not available in national bookstore kung may national bookstore kayo dyan, because unlimited books is not ano uh parang hindi sila yung supplier na ano ng na, na, na publisher alam ko ano eh uh, anvil at saka ano dyan eh uh, next bookstore ang ano ng ano ang tawag ng national bookstore so it's not available pero so there are other bookstore in the nationwide na namin okay so i am only showing you one of my book because this is related to research and this was actually published last 2018 pero it was actually out ng 2019 last year and together with me is dr juan siberion that's actually our university president and dr elmer de jose is actually the, uh, the dean of the graduate school in Polytechnic University of the Philippines. And of course, myself, uh, my middle name. And I'm very happy to say to you that my Rosales, my root ng Rosales is from Carmen Bohol. Yung lolo ko taga Bohol sa Carmen. So, kung may mga Rosales dito na taga Bohol na taga Carmen. I'm sure we are related, okay? Kaya, uh, yun. Then, at the same time, uh, I would like to ask everyone if you want to know more about me or something like that, uh, ano, just follow me on my Instagram, Dean Rumar. With my pictures, with, uh, of very fun of traveling. So, maybe you, ano, uh, to get in touch with me or something like that. Or, Maybe meron kayong mga needs na, ano, maybe gusto yung pumunta ng, ano, ng Taguig or you want to arrange something, a tour around Taguig, talagang I can tour you around, okay? Uh, for free, magiging uh, tour guide, but uh, you have also to manage uh, to do with your own bus. Kami bahala, I can provide you that, ano, uh, the different uh, tour guides. Kung kailangan yun ng maganda at guwapo na tour guides, I can, ano, I can provide you that. Kasi that's part of our... So, maintain the status of a uh, university, you have to strengthen your community extension. Number two, research. And number three is instruct. Uh, uh, thank you very much for listening. I think uh, I was able to impart knowledge from from you guys uh, with regards uh, this uh, uh, with regards to the the topic uh, that you, you know that you were able to uh, to know about. And I'm happy to hear questions coming from the, you know, from from the audience, if there is, and I'm willing to uh, to answer that. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Dean Rumal, and sa mga taga Carmen Bohol diha. Please take note. Uh, sa middle name ni, ni Dean Rumar na Rosales. Uh, the roots of Dean Rumar is in Carmen Bohol. And I know for sure, daghang nagtanaw karon na to from Carmen Bohol. So, kawai-kawai naman mga Rosales diha. And we would like to thank you, Sir Rumar, for giving us the time. 
kabalo ba mo guys that uh, the school of Sir Romar is in the middle of preparation for an accreditation. Madugo yan. Uh, but then he gave time. And, uh, that's why I said, Puhon, when, once everything is fine, it's safe to travel, uh, we will be having Dean Romar in our school in flesh. And uh, also, we would like to highlight some points na gi-discuss gi ni Sir Romar kaganiha. Um, tinood, uh, it's true that students' challenges, among of them is first, the lack of confidence. Second is the lack of time. Um, though nasa home-based na ang learning karon, but we are wondering why. Dili man sila makamanage sa ilang time. That's a question. <laughs> Maybe because more on YouTube, more on Facebook sila karon. <laughs> And then the third is the limited knowledge and skills. Though the role of the school comes in for, for you to, to, to be reinforced with that knowledge, but sometimes the, the acceptance of the information medyo hinay mo absorb. The, the lack of research enthusiasm, usapod na sa dako na rason. And then the collaboration challenges with other available resources and the one man team ingon ni sir rumar kaganiha exactly si leader lang it's always the leader who's always doing everything and the rest moral support lang kuno and then the presentation challenges because of the 1 to 6 na mentioned ni sir rumar pag abot sa presentation that's the time you are more challenged to present and to defend your work because of 1 to 6 the problem that you have encountered. And um, I highlight po na ko ang gimension ni Sir Romar Kaganiha because he gave us the glimpse of the tourism industry before and after COVID-19. And we have seen the, the numbers, the statistics. And he's right. It was research that made it na may, may number, na, na there is a result. And our top visitor is Sophia. Another learning, another trivia, another learning for us this afternoon. We are waiting, Sir Romar, no? Kung na ay mo appear na question. It seems na it's either na had look sila. They're afraid of you. <laughs> As you mentioned kanina, na um, natatakot sila pag ako na yung panelist. <laughs> but nevertheless, mm -hmm. since walang question, and we went earlier because of your appointment, virtual appointment, let me take this opportunity to award our, virtually, to award the Certificate of Appreciation. Let me hold on for a moment. Let me read the citation. Crystal E. College, Central Highway, Tawala, Panglao, Bohol. Present the Certificate of Appreciation to Professor Rumar Abaygar for his valuable contribution as a resource speaker of the research webinar series entitled Developing and Adapting Research Methodology in the New Normal, conducted through StreamYard platform on the 8th of December 2020, hosted by the Business and Hospitality Management Department, Crystal E. College, Panglao Bohol, Philippines. Signed, Will Tyron B. Tirol, PhD President. Sir? Thank you very much, uh, Crystal E. College, and uh, of course, the management of the Crystal E. College, and of course, your professor, uh, Dr. Franz. Thank you, thank you. Thank, uh, no, sir. It should ask, I would say thank you for the time, for the effort, for the expertise, and soon, we would like to see you in flesh here in, in the island of Panglao once everything is safe. And we will also co communicate with you uh, if ever there, were, there are plans for us to do an educational tour in your city. The mm -hmm. city that's considered to be the province And yeah. uh, we will follow your Instagram at Dean Rumar. Since wala nek wala question, there, there are, there are, they, they might be afraid. Doha lang jud ni Sir Romar, uh, they learn uh, a lot. 
Oh, second is they are afraid to ask the question. <laughs> Ayun, malaki lang ako pero ano, uh, I am being most loved of my students, if you would know. I, I can attest to that one because I, I, we are friends on Facebook and I can see how students celebrated his birthday and how students surprised him. <laughs> And also, not only the students, mind you guys, including the faculty and staff, not only of his department, but the other department of Taguig City University. That's how he is loved. And um, okay. we are so much privileged to that, that this person who's being loved so much by Taguig City University is with us today, live. Okay, thank you, thank you. So uh, at this juncture, Sir Omar, since w there are no further questions, we would like to say thank you again to you for your time, the knowledge and expertise that you have given. We will see you soon in, in yeah. God's time once everything is fine. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Dagang salamat sa inyong tanan. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Uh, Professor uh, Romar Abaygar of Taguig City University. Um, let me just recap some of his information with regards to the new data collection processes. Since sakto siya that we are now on the new normal and limited ang atong pag-engage on public and going outside, uh, one of those form of data collection processes would be the online survey form. But you again with all of this i'll be mentioning i have some precautions later on the virtual interview the mobile and telephone call the email data collection and then the cloud data collection mo matter gihapon ni guys sa kind of respondents ninyo because uh, of course uh, the age bracket has something to do with the ability and skills to make use of technology or your respondents maybe are, are don't have the the the, the the internet connectivity when you do the virtual interview. So, matter lang gihapon siya. And at this point, I would like to thank everyone who's watching us live right now and to invite you again for uh, the third episode or the third part of the session that will be tomorrow afternoon at uh, 2 in the afternoon. We have another uh, exciting topic with another credible and uh, highly, um, uh, shall I say, he, he, she was my professor and a, a product of the University of the Philippines. So I can say that uh, overqualified to, to deliver the, the topic. I want you to stay tuned on that tomorrow at uh, exactly 2 in the afternoon. Once again, we would like to say thank you to the Dean of the College of Hospitality and Tourism Management of the Gig City University, Dean Rumar Abaygar, for the time that and the knowledge that he shared for us this afternoon. I would like also to thank the officials, the, the officers of our school in Crystal E College, uh, headed by the president it's himself, uh, Dr. Will Tyron Tirol, our uh, vice president for academics, Ma'am Josiel Tirol, thank you so much. And the OIC Dean of the Business and Hospitality Management Department, Ma'am Juvi Martin, thank you, thank you so much for uh, your support. And to our uh, research students who are watching right now, daghang kaing salamat. And thank you also to the technical and production team who helped me uh, make these things possible. Uh, to my technical and production team, thank you so much to Ms. Aldenisa Delagan, to Marvin Mandin, our production head, Ivan Ray Toledo, Maricel Rejas, Eman Paredes, and Gregan Andilab for, for fixing uh, our studio for, for this beautiful background that I have. To Mr. Carl Albonadora, ang akong co-host sa Town Hall Talk, na who saved the day because we were having a problem, technical problem kaganiha because of, of the laptop na, na nagigamit, na mubag down siya. So, uh, Carl gave his time, though busy siya sa iyahang mga final requirements, kay dool na ang final examination. Uh, but he gave time to 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 share uh, his laptop para maka on air takaron. We are using more than uh, three laptops here. Uh, and the available laptop, unta na among gamiton kaganihan ni Bagdown man. But nevertheless, um, see you again tomorrow. Thank you so much. And 
be safe always and observe the basic health protocols. God bless us all.